On Saturday, I spoke to the Prime Minister. I updated him on coronavirus, the progress we're making, and our plans for the next few weeks. The government is united in our focus, our determination, and our national mission to defeat the coronavirus, and defeat it we will. I want to join the PM in expressing our heartfelt thanks to the brilliant team at St Thomas's Hospital. And as the Easter Bank holiday weekend draws to a close, I also need to thank all of the NHS staff, all of the other frontline staff who have been working so hard over the long weekend to care for those suffering from coronavirus. We thank you, we pay tribute to you, and we're immensely proud of all you're doing. And can I also take the opportunity to thank everyone who followed the advice to stay at home despite the wonderful weather and despite the challenges and the sacrifices that sticking to the advice presents to many families. I have to say that uh, at the end of last week, we were uh, concerned that people might start ignoring the advice or cutting corners, uh, given the temptation to go out into the sunshine. In fact, the overwhelming majority of people stayed at home and understood the importance of doing so. You stuck to the advice, you denied the coronavirus, the social contact it needs to spread, and people should be in absolutely no doubt that by staying home this weekend, you've saved lives, and you've also helped protect our precious NHS at this critical moment in the crisis. So thank you. Your efforts are making all the difference, and please keep them up. We've come too far, we've lost too many loved ones, and we've sacrificed too much to ease up now. I can tell you on the latest data that 290,720 people have been tested for coronavirus, 88,621 have now tested positive, and I'm very sorry to say that 11,329 people have now died from coronavirus, every one of them a tragedy, and our hearts go out to all of the loved ones who are grieving their loss at such a difficult time. Amidst this sobering death toll, there are also some positive signs from the data that we are starting to win this struggle. But we've still got a long way to go, and as those grisly figures that I just read out show, we're still not past the peak of this virus. So please, continue to follow the advice, now more than ever, to stay home, save lives, and protect our NHS. This week, SAGE will review the evidence of the effectiveness of the social distancing measures that we've taken, and we will consider their evidence, as their assessment, based on the evidence at that point. I should say we don't expect to make any changes to the measures currently in place at that point, and we won't, until we're confident, as confident as we realistically can be, that any such changes can be safely made. In the meantime, the government will continue to redouble all of our efforts to buy and deliver the ventilators so we can treat the most vulnerable in our hospitals, to deliver the masks, the gowns, the other protective equipment, to protect those on the front line in the NHS but also in care homes, and to ramp up testing so that NHS and other key staff can return to the front line just as soon as possible. The Chancellor and the Business Secretary are working round the clock to mitigate the damage that this crisis has undoubtedly done to our economy, getting support to businesses, to workers, and to the most vulnerable in our society. So please, once again, keep following the guidance to stay home, save lives, and protect the NHS. If we let up now, the virus will only take full advantage. It will spread faster, and it will kill more people. If we refuse to give in to it, if we keep up this incredible team effort, we will beat this virus, and we will come through this national test. Our plan is working. Please stick with it, and we will get through this crisis together.